I don't. I've been recording see. for an hour. Oh my god! Every token is loading in so slow. So let's see. We <laughs> have. One. Two, uh, are the wolves all going night? at the same time? Uh, the I'll, spells, like... <laughs> I'll say the wolves will um, go on their own counts just to really add some dynamicism. Um, does anyone want a pilot pick? Pick is the only one that doesn't have a registered owner, so to speak. I'll do it if no one will. So Fang uh, is under control of O. Ripper is Garf's guy is Kirsty's Slack is Ninjas. So pick is pick is up in the air for if anyone wants to grab. I mean, I I'd be willing to do it mostly because O is like on mobile, so it would be just extra hassle. You got that two nat ones on your initiatives. You guys suck. <laughs> also, I they're all it. relatively identical, anyways, right now. So they are relatively identical. Yeah. Then I'll, I'll unlock pick for you them. Yeah, go 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 get a drink. Here's your name. You know what? I w oh. <laughs> uh, do you want to do it? If you want to do it, if you want to do it, more dogs. If you want to pie the pick. I, mean, uh, I think she was making a joke about getting a drink. Yeah, I was gonna say uh, I success. will, but then you were like, okay, go 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 go, go get your drink. Go get your I'm drink. I'm going. Oh my god. <laughs> Just get the hell out of here. Gosh. Why are you, you know, still here? You. No, I'm coming fools. with me now. Nice. I might actually go get some to drink as well. Now think about it. Two minutes. Uh, since my birthday is literally next session, I will use Predator's Insight once I know what these goonies roll. <laughs> okay, fair, fair. That's fair. <laughs> oh, I think I gave you guys a misstatement that there are three humanoids. There's actually only two. And there's one over here. Well, I got you guys with Sodom, so guys, yeah, there are still three. Um... Yeah. Where would Dean and I be standing? Because we've been walking around. I will let you guys pick. Just know that you guys had to be within line of sight of the top left, out the top left uh, entryway here. Yeah. Okay. Um, then we have. Um... Yeah, I, I would have had to been like near the barrier because uh, short bows don't have that long of a reach. Yeah, that's fair. And I was standing next to you, so I'll be in the right there. Was was I know. Mm-hmm. And then one of these. Oh, dogs. Shut up, dogs. Then wrap around here. We have this. No. <laughs> Two. Is it bad that I'm laughing at the fact that pick was not picked by any of us? There's a certain irony of that, yes. Yeah. It's very sad. It's fine. One day someone will pick me. That's what the name is. <laughs> Alrighty. No, the name was like because they're picky. That's what it was. Fun yeah, fact: When I was younger, I used to call Coca Cola Coca Lala. <laughs> Is that some, like... something you're trying to say something you're proud of, or? I mean, I was a baby, so I feel like that's pretty cute. I thought of it because I have a Coca Cola. Fair enough. All right, I'm just gonna well, put some. I'm just gonna put some color icons. The red, the red dots do not mean that they're hurt already. I'm just, I just need all these yeah, colors. Man. I just, I actually just need all these colors. Oh. All right, here we go. Ah, uh, shit. Oh, shit, here we go again. I can't freaking... There, there we go. Move back there. So, do we want me to just start chucking alchemist fire around the place, or is that a bad idea? Yeah, it's your guys' palisade to burn down if you want. Oh, we got a right. platoon down here. The fuck? Yeah, what's your point? I mean, they are prepared for war. Okay. It's a squad. It's not a platoon. How many people is in a platoon? 50. Uh, a lot. A lot. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. Each team has four to six. Each squad has two teams. Each platoon has four squads. A platoon is four squads. So... Uh, oh, squad, plus a squad team. is 10 to 11. Oh, these guys well, will be gods! Technically. I mean, maybe, maybe in silly Britain Push land. Back but... beast, the fuck yes. is that? Yes. Hello! Hi. It's 10 or 11. So why, are you, why are you so surprised at Garf? These are, your, these are inspired by your creation. Fuck, I did make that. <laughs> you did. Out. And now I here it has that. come full circle, my friend. I, I played Gosh, myself what have you done? the longest con. What have you done? So, fun fact, there was a one-shot that I ran so... with. Mm -hmm. 
and the, there was an option of the wagon getting ambushed, and I made these bush back beast things, which were basically dire wolves, but worse. And knowing, oh, I, I assure you, I assure you that they're not the same. I assure you that they're not the same. Yeah, that doesn't that that could okay. still be worse though is the problem. Some of them have names. Bastards, we should kill them. After Oriana. Oh, the good names. Oh, I see. I see. Oriana oh. scared me too for that for that little. Oh, oh! I don't like that name. Ooh, I didn't notice that. <laughs> every, oh, every no. Alas and Ligatos probably oh. has a title. They are yeah. experienced leaders. Like, like they don't—you don't, you don't oh, just no, no, get no. to be Ligatos. Yeah. <laughs> I guess it's some, I, actually. I take that back. In some tribes, you do. <laughs> it's more the fact that they have an Alas and Ligatos with them. They got both. Mm -hmm. They got the whole squad rolling up. I mean, most tribes do. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it's just Kasai that's a disappointment. Uh, just so it is clear, and this will be probably super evident to the martially inclined of you, the melee strikers are striking non-lethally. That's... That means that you can't, you can't unleafly, like, non-leafly strike, unless you take the feet for it, non-leafly strike with rage weapons or spells. So, so if that, that happens, then it's, it's acceptable loss. <laughs> is accident. Right. Um, so they. So this is this is fun. This is so many things. There's so much shit, and we all rolled okay. so much worse than all of them. You guys rolled very poorly. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. the, the, the oh Okay, God. actually, the the, the 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 NPCs rolled okay. Okay, Arn Besides has advantage because we're, we're in his favorite terrain. Downside, he has a minus one because fucking arm and eye. <laughs> He has more than just a minus one, really. Um, you'll see. And yes, he will help you guys in a fight. I'm of surprised he will. he's not like trying to hide because I mean, he needs to. What choice does he have? Uh, don't worry. After this last incident, um, Arn's favored enemies are Nevros and and plants. So, <laughs> so, so right now he's just like, I'm bad. I'm sick of these goddamn Nevros and these goddamn hills. I just wanna fucking go home! <laughs> Everyone's cool and so tree starts speaking Nepros. Okay, so, allow me to grab some music. Um, you guys definitely have turned the circumstances in a much better way than I was expecting, so I'm not gonna play sad, depressing music of getting ambushed in the night. Let's see, um... You know what? You know what? Yeah, special occasion, fuck up. Um, let's see. Oh, what was no. it called? Oh. What was it called? That's what it was called. I remembered. Boom. One of the few times I'll go to the music channel to see what's up. Oh, God. You guys get one free round of attacks or movements or whatever you so want. Ne I'm well aware, those of you that just woke up probably won't be aware of where the enemies are, but just go with it. Consider Redain broadcasting instructions on a lightning speed in a helpful manner. The enemies are not where they currently are on the board yet. They will get there this round, so to speak. So when it actually rolls around to their turn, they will arrive where they are currently. Make sense? Yep. Yeah. So you guys sort of get a surprise round, but not really. Basically, because they just have to approach. They just have. They have 90, 90 feet to clear by sprinting, and then they only get to where they are currently. So they start to enter the camp and so on, right? So. So first up is Lyco's chosen on the top right. So these two guys oh, move in. that, Crush, can I can I go first? Oh yeah 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 yeah. yeah. My, bad, my, bad, my, bad, my, bad, my bad. You went from literally the bottom to the top. All right. I'm just gonna put you at a twenty-four point. Hey. Alright, so you go first. Yes. Also, who's the other person that rolled in that one? I need to mark it down. Uh, uh it'll be me. Nushka? You said yeah. shame. <laughs> oh, no. we have I bring shame upon my family. Back to back. Alright, so Sajan, yeah. you're going first. What are, you, what, are you, what are you trying to do? Yeah. Uh, so these things have quite a bit of range. I will... Also, let's just remember. Oh, I need to write down one second. Uh, seven. There. Uh, bookkeeping my spell points there real quick. Um, so, 
So, how far out are the from these guys right now? Forty-five uh, plus ninety. Forty-five plus ninety, correct. And I will say, as the Nevros yells in Nevros to charge, you see the bush get up off the ground onto these quadruped legs instead of skulking around like a lazy cat or dogs, you know, wiping their butt on the floor. They are now sprinting at you guys. You guys' traps are in effect, by the way. They are not, they're not actually bear traps, contrary to what the symbol looks like. Uh, they are, they, if a target falls into one of the traps and doesn't dodge it, um, they will become prone, restrained, and suffer 2d4 bludgeoning damage. Uh, I will move, I think. Um... You guys are immune to your own traps. Nina, if you want to change out Tiny Hut for another third level spell, you guys are free to. Percy, <gasps> are if, you want to if you if you want to change out Passive Out Trace to a different second level spell, you're free to. Okay, cool. I'm gonna look at that right now. <laughs> just, just I only pick one, one of them because Fain Death is also. Fain <laughs> Death might be handy. Okay. Up to you guys. So, so Jar, wait. Someone someone said something uh, about Tiny Hut and I didn't Let's hear. See. I think that was sixty. Oh, it was here. Oh, 55. You have, uh, five more. You have, what are you trying to do? Trying to dash over here. Okay, you dash over there. Mission accomplished. Yeah. And then what? That was my action to dash. I action will... and movement dash. Shall we prepare? Yeah, we'll prepare. Um, we'll quicken a, um, so let me just uh, move his points for that. That would be, yeah, two. And I'll cast Melf's Minute Meteors on myself. Alrighty, alrighty. That, I think, gives you five? Or six? E six. Six. You whisper your hand and summon the, I guess, sort of divine, sort of cosmic power of your draconic connection and ancestry. And six meteors pop into existence. Can I fluff them into little motes of starlight? Ah, uh, starlight, motes of starlight. But yeah, I, it's called my new meteors. They're not meteors. Whatever, man. <laughs> my new yeah, stars my doesn't have the same ring. All right, so let's see. Um, top right, Lyco's like chosen are now in this range. So I guess I'll put. Yeah. Uh, Marika gets up. That's half her movement to just get up. Mm. She's going to intercede. She's going to go where Zal is. She will dash to accomplish so. She's going to go where Zal is and try to body block. Also because Tolis is not enough person. Is not the sort of person that should get in the front. Um. <laughs> she sees that these top left individuals have bows in their hands, so she's going to spend a key point for her patient defense. Uh, speaking of those individuals, they arrive, they will dash here, and that will be their turn. This the bushback beast that's accompanying them also dashes there. Lambert is up in the watchtower, so you can see basically all of this and probably over there as well. What to do? What to do? <laughs> I mean, it's like He doesn't have a lot of spell slots because he didn't get a long rest in <laughs> last night. So we will cast the most efficient spell in the game. Spiritual weapon. <laughs> Pixie feet. So he could totally put it there. I put yellow circle. Yellow circle. Uh, we're going to say it's going to attack the... Uh, we'll say it's going to attack the bushback beast up front. I think his attack, his spell attack is plus five, six, plus six. What is the AC of a bushback boost? Let's find out. It is. It is not 13. It does not hit. Why? <laughs> Unfortunate. And uh, that's his action, or that's his bonus action to do that. Action. 
Sacred Flame on the same creature. That is a deck save. <laughs> Yo, this thing's a god. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this 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 bushback basically got a promotion, dude. Bush bushback Chad. <laughs> All right, D is going to. Hmm. I could play D optimally, like hyper optimally, but I'm not going to do that. I think I'm going to play D more supportive. Um, oh, she's going to get up half her movement, bonus action to dash, so that's 45 feet of movement that she has to get here. June comes with her. I think she'll go, she'll, she'll double dash and go here. So she's in between right now. So she's ready to ambush, if need be. Like was chosen, this is like was chosen bottom, moves up. Like was chosen to the right, orange dots move up. Tolus. Oh, Tolus, sweet summer child. Uh, Tolus will cast Sanctuary on himself. Because <laughs> it's their Honestly. bread and butter. It's their bread and butter. Half their movement to stand up. And just going to move 15 feet up here. And hold a, hold a cantrip. Going to hold the frostbite cantrip. If any of them get within range. Like as soon as they... Actually, no, no, no. That would violate the tenets of Sanctuary. My bad. It certainly would. Yes, that was that's stupid she of could me. frostbite then Sanctuary. Yeah, we can't hold a spell and then cast it like that. No, she could just... Oh, they're not in range of it at all. Got it. Actually, no, these... These guys will now be a finish. So you're gonna frostbite, frostbite this, the bushback beast. I swear to God, if he <laughs> makes another save, I'm gonna laugh so hard. I think it's a concert. Yeah, it's a concert. Oh, this. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's a boss, dude. And then casting. Oh, God. The uh, let's see, Vaso. Where Vaso, Vaso sees these fuckers down south. And he's going to whistle and try to get the wolves to, to come with him <laughs> to go handle it. Um, Vaso, he might have been from a night line, but he knows how to fight dirty. He's going to... Uh, let's see, 30 feet is here. Ah, he can't. Damn it. Okay, fine. He's going to move here. Dash, move there. Amber totally knows how to fight dirty and totally will fucking cheat in order to win. And part of, um, cheating, uh, it's not cheating if you win for a stuff, but part of cheating is knowing when to, you know, call it and when to fold it. She's going to chuck something over here. Uh, let me check the range of this. My fiery tools don't crap on me now. Twenty feet, damn, that sucks. Well, better than nothing. Half her movement, fifteen feet. She's going to dash, which gives her forty-five. Well, she can go through there. Okay. So she'll eventually end up here, but she will chuck 20 feet away. But she's like, oh, she's over here. Ba -ba. Oh. Ba -ba. The resurrection. The second coming of Boar. Oink. Oink. The oinkening. The oinkening. <laughs> boar. <laughs> yeah, now I, I'm just now changing the rules for her bag of tricks. That only makes the boar. It doesn't make any of the other ones. It just makes the boar. <laughs> yeah. This <laughs> Yeah. That is Amber's turn. No she's boss. going to re she's going to ready for an ambush outside. All right, Brendan, you are prone. You're sitting in your watchtower, but if you stand up, uh, you will have obvious slide yes. slides across. Everywhere. Um, with cube within range in when casting a spell, does the whole cube have to be in range, or just part of the cube? The face of it. The face of it has to be within range. So it's like, uh. So, so, like this, so this will be the face, and then the rest of the cube does not have to be within in range. So it's 120 foot range, but I can make the cube like. Yeah. So, like, so for this, like, yeah, your face it has to. 
It has to, the center of the face is the point of the origin, though. It has to be the center point. That's fine. I just need to make sure that I have... I should say, these guys aren't all within range yet. Unless you want to hold a spell, obviously, in which case, then fair enough. I mean, you could honestly, like, set it up so the face is, like, here on the other side of the traps, and that won't be that. Just, like, fuck uh, this area in particular. 30 for cube. Oh, I intend to. <laughs> Whoa. How big is a 30 foot cube? Hey. It's like, like that, that, that. that. Yeah, we can't go. We can't go off the. We can't go off it. But yeah, it's, it's around that. Yeah. And that is in range. Oh. I think of me. Yeah. Yeah. I I believe so. Yeah. I should be able to. Yeah, they're not, they're not within range yet, so are you going to hold the spell or oh, are, are they not in this position? No, they're about... F f they're 60-some feet back off the map. Oh, okay. They will okay. arrive there when it gets to their turn. Alrighty then. Give me a second. Yes, I'm probably going to do that. I'm just saying what else I could do on my turn before I do that. Or if I want to wait and hold on to that for a minute. Um, you know what? I'm just gonna... How far away are these guys? Which ones? These guys at the top right. Uh, let's see, so the Bushback Beast and the Ligodatos are still... F uh, back off the map, but these two guys, the two green dots, are within range. Oh, okay. on the map now. Okay. Why does everything have to be not in a good clump? <laughs> well, some of them are in a good, some <laughs> of them are a good clump, but not where I need them to be in a good clump. Alright. Um, I shall hold my action to cast Hypnotic Pattern on this group when they are all within range. Okay. So when the last one gets into into position, then I'll cast it so that I get the whole group, if that's alright. Okay. Uh, let me just make a check here. He does have a train, interesting. <laughs> Noted. <laughs> Oh, wait, no. Uh, Damn, I was going to counterspell you when you got within range. Well, counterspell yeah. is only a 60 foot range, not 120, so you are safe for the time being. Yeah, and also, I'm casting the spell now and then hold and releasing it, so he would have to be in range of me casting the spell, not when I release the spell. Fair point. Damn, so he would have to be in range now. Don't worry. Don't worry. There's still, there's still other things that he could do. Oh, so, yeah. Anything yeah. else? Are you staying in the tower? Uh, yes, I'm ducking back down. <laughs> just pe just peering over it, so I've got like half cover, maybe? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just enough to see where I'm aiming. Um, and that'll be what Brendan's doing, because he can't do anything as a bonus action that he uh -huh. would want to do. Uh, I'm going to get Ore to Windlash this guy uh one of the green guys okay so the bottom one this one yep uh, do that. That, that uh 19 hits good oh and then she's gonna double back down <laughs> we're just playing duck and cover <laughs> understandable honestly i've turned on like all the bars and stuff for all like the enemies and stuff like that now because we're just running so many people that i just need them to <laughs> yeah uh, do we do actions for the wolves? On our oh, did you guys roll their initiatives? No. 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 Oh, we. You guys should have rolled their initiatives. <laughs> you guys are supposed to have rolled it. <laughs> I was gonna do it on my turn. No, the wolves will operate independently from you guys. 
Okay. okay. The horses operate on your guys' turn. The wolves don't. No. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> she just stops. <laughs> there you go. That's my turn. All right. This is just really weird, but where's the wolf's initiative? I can't actually see it. <laughs> it's it's right a little bottom. dice. It's a little dice on the top oh, right. Of the top block. I oh, I see it. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. We're still missing one, aren't we? The one that spells out isn't it for you, uh, Brady oh, Folk. In it. What well, in it, love? Okay, I'm at to re-crunch this. Uh, horses operate on your guys' initiatives, whoever's in control of them, but I'm assuming you guys are keeping them out of the fight right now, until it's stayed otherwise. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, let's see. I'm gonna go through the whole initiative order, and then we can just do all the world at once. Because mm -hmm. the time has passed. Work, damn it. Alright, so now it's Arn's turn. Arn is going to get up. Actually, Arn wears medium armor. He puts on medium armor. Alright, that's Arn's turn. <laughs> he puts on his breastplate. Which, honestly, of all the medium armors, that would be the fastest one to put on, because it's literally just the breastplate. Rudin? Mm, okay. Um... Let me survey the area real quick. Most of these guys down here are not actually there yet. These guys over here, I believe, are are there. The Ligodotus and the company Bushback Beast on the top of him are not there yet. All three on the top left are there, and I don't think these guys on the top are there yet. Okay. I, I don't have anything great, so I'm going to prepare. Oh, I can't even get there. Yes. I'm gonna whistle for Jaunter to come to me. Hey, you can totally do that. Uh, let's see. So, uh, 60 feet would get him there, and he could just dash over here to finish it out. Or not dash up. Uh, he has the extra ability that all Outrider seats have. If you want to pop it right now. Uh, no, it's okay. I can move a few feet over. Um, and I'll just is it worth it? America has a melee weapon. I'll just take a one shot at them and then run over and get on job there. Okay. Uh, you aim at the beast or at the people? Um, the... I know nothing about these beasts. It is. Do, do I see any chains on it? No. Okay. I will say that right. the um, the some of the Nevros have like melee arsenals. Those of them with a ranged arsenal have uh, what's called a honkyu. Gotcha. I'll just I'll just shoot at the one to the left. The one to the left. I'll just <laughs> that the one to the left. <laughs> Jump on Jonter. All right, you are on Jonter. Uh, Jontra still, I think, has like 10 feet of movement left. If you want to move anywhere within 10 feet. Or you. Alright. Anything else? Nope. Roger, roger. Oriana, you are prone, but you are awakened. Well, it sort of is. It sort of isn't. Because it's half your movement speed. <laughs> Regardless of if you are on a monk. We should have more leftover movement afterwards. That's your problem. You can throw it. If you want. J although know that... You know, it doesn't block an entrance. It, they can still walk through it. Yeah, there's a cost. I played enough CSGO to know that people will walk through fire just for the hell of it. <laughs> also, I don't think Alchemist Fire lasts in terms of fire. I think it just... 
It does. It just. It just hits. Yeah, it doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't, it doesn't create a fiery spot. It just burns immediately. You. You would need a flask of oil and fire to do that. Otherwise. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure when you know they, you know. <laughs> When this fire, which is already lit, comes into contact with it, everything will be fine. <laughs> also, Ninja, whenever you need to hop off, feel free to. We'll just fast track your turn that round. Two little dredge blast, moving on. <laughs> Ah, uh, yes, the Warlock special. Not even two Ultra's Blast, it'd just be the one. <laughs> yeah. Oh, right. Yeah. <laughs> you guys can move through those blackened spots in the Palisades, they just count as difficult terrain. Oh, okay. Yeah, so like I'm this. I'm wondering what that is. Yeah, this and this. You guys can move through those, it's just difficult terrain. Mm hmm Um, I should probably start marking out which ones are melee, but all these ones have melee weapons drawn, yes. The one on the top left have ranged weapons drawn, melee weapons drawn, melee weapons drawn on the, uh, the orange ones, and then the pink ones on the bottom are ranged, while the purple ones are melee. You hold in attack, yes. Yeah. Sure. That's that's what that, that's why Arn slept next to the trap. That's actually why he slept next to the trap in case someone jumps and he could kick him into the trap. Ripper doesn't operate on your turn. Very well. This pushback beast arrives there now. Moving on. This pushback, these pushback beasts down here arrive there. Moving on. Uh, we do the wolves at the end.